Hi guys, welcome back to another Dead Good Walk. Uh, today we're in Olshvani Hribitov. Hribitov meaning uh, cemetery in Czech. So I think I pronounced that right. My Czech's not the best. Probably non-existent, in fact. But we'll uh, we'll see how we get on. So I've not had time to do a lot of research on this cemetery. Um, we're on holiday as well, so we're trying to fit these places in when we can. Let's have a look in this one. Not much left in there, there's a pew at the end. A couple of plaques on the wall. Look at this one, it's... Uh, Two story. Let's see what we can find in here. Oh, look at the steps there on the left. Wow, I would give anything to go up them. It's incredible, isn't it? That. I wonder what's at the top. Gonna have to try the door. Ah, oh, it's locked. This one, I don't know if it's been broken into. Or maybe they're uh, carrying out some repairs or something. Like a bed sheet there at the bottom. Yeah, it's like a bed sheet rope type of thing. You know, like you used to escape from prison when you see that in the movies. I think they must have removed the body out of this one. Rodina Chemakova, I think. Rodina means um, family. Little candle there, full of spiders down the bottom in the crypt. Some ashes there, a couple of urns on the back. Nice, tiled out as well. Quite neat. Gothic Art Nouveau style door there. Number 15, no name on this one. But you can take a look again. There's two ends there on the uh, slab and a crucifix of Jesus at the back. That the sun's in my eyes. Maybe Vem Vemakova. Wow, look at all the webs on this one. Must be some pretty meaty spiders about. Oh, that's strange how oh, there's flowers on it, but all well, the doors cobwebbed on. Must be artificial. Say family Bubnichkova, Bubnichkova, maybe or Bubnichkova. Someone's had a little peek in there, haven't they? Ribitov. Feel free to laugh at my uh, pronunciation, by the way. I'd do the same to you. Voitlova? Voitlova?
Josef Schnetsch. Lovely uh, tomb on top there, isn't it? I always wonder when I see them if the body's actually inside it, but it's probably not, is it? It's just a decoration. So I know this one, this is Franz Rzebicek. Probably pronounced that wrong. Um, he was a watchmaker and uh, a music box maker. Make out his first name, probably Johan, Johan Ehrlich, or Ehrlich. Very dashing looking chap. I love the two trees either side of this one. Cool. Bronova. Bronova. It's going to be too dark to see in there, yeah. Be able to peek inside that one. I can't even reach the uh, the windows there at the top, even with my arm stretched. Well, a couple of uh, grave markers just lying there. Incredible. Just gonna have to put the camera away for a second. There's a couple of guys in the bushes smoking something. Collar, collar tomb. Let's have a look in here. There's not much left in there. Look in this last one, and then I'm gonna have to put the camera away again. There's a there's a woman on a bench there crying her eyes out. Let's check this one out. I think this is police tape. This one. Wonder what happened. Oh, it's trash. This isn't it. Beer bottles and all sorts in there. What a shame. So I've just gone past the woman that was crying there. That's the difficult thing about filming in cemeteries, you know, loved ones still come here, even to the old ones that you think are abandoned. So uh, I try and be discreet as much as possible. Wow, this one's absolutely stunning. Look at them statues. There's two angels there, both with... One's got a flame, and one's got an extinguished flame. Wow. Rablova. Oh look, he's still got his picture. Professor Vasa Rabble. A temporary roof on this one just to keep it dry. Let's have a look. 
Muller, so it's the Muller vault. Katarina Muller, Franz Muller. You see the original door down there on the floor. Maria Muller. Must have been German going by the name. Quite a few uh, pictures on this one. Let's go and have a closer look. Ms. Livchek, I think that says. Little smiling Babichka there. And probably a husband. Look at this, like a golden Jesus, Sacred Heart style I think it is, Resurrectoris, must be some sort of mass memorial. Hopefully that guy there on the bench is just sleeping, there's a lot of uh, dodgy characters around here. So I guess I should tell you a bit about the cemetery. Um, it was opened in 1680 uh, to accommodate plague victims. Um, there's 12 cemeteries in here, which we're, we're not going to check them all out today, I won't have time. And there's evidence of 230,000 burials, 65,000 graves, 200 chapel graves, which uh, must be mausoleums, and uh, 6 columbariums. So a revisit's definitely on the cards for this one. This is Servac Heller, he was a journalist, writer and a politician. This is uh, Jakob Seafert and his family. He was an uh, actor and a director. Look at this next one, it's an absolute monster. You'd think it's a chapel, wouldn't you? Um, this is the Lana and Shebek mausoleum. And there's uh, coffin niches on the bottom where those windows are. And there's two chapels either side above them. Um, and it was restored in 2019. See if we can have a look. Let's look through this way. It's too dark. But that's just a chapel in there. And lovely painted ceiling at the top. I think they're they're in construction together, um, mainly on the railways. But look at the detail on this, it must have cost a fortune. Bigger than some people's houses. And I think, in fact, it's the biggest freestanding mausoleum in Prague. Someone's added some graffiti to this one. It basically says, F photographers. Let's have a peek, see if we can see anything. Oh, there's a lot of uh, photos around the sides. Wine bottle in there. Let's have a look through this one. It's a bit too dark on that side, isn't it? Hmm. Ok, 
carmine. Carmine. Looks like they're doing a bit of work to this one. It's got a temporary door on it. Lovely old gothic railings there. Let's take a look at this one. I like how they put the um, glass over the over the name there to try and protect it. Can't read that. Josef Manz, he was a Czech painter, quite uh, world renowned. Died in 1871 of mental illness. Look at this stunning uh, copper angel coming up. Turek. interesting looks like it's made of wood but it's um, like a light metal look at that it's slightly terrifying with all due respect to the lady oh I've just walked through a massive spider web Check this one out. Look at the urns there. Oh, there's ashes everywhere as well. I think they must have been opened. God, look at that. Someone should really cover that up, I think. She looks like a tough woman, doesn't she? Murder and Murderova. Uh, Jesus there in cast iron. I've never seen a colourful mausoleum like that before. Check out the design on that one, it's stunning isn't it? And look at the eyes on this Jesus, they kind of follow you around wherever you go. Let's have a look at this one, it's in bad shape, isn't it? Watching out for the nettles. Did you hear that bang then? Definitely a banging noise coming from inside. Lovely angel there guarding the ashes. Excuse me. It's like a knight, isn't it, or a king? That one. Not sure what um, what these are. The sign at the back on the cross just says "Tombs Pledge," so maybe it's um, an old Soviet war memorial or something. 
with uh, soldiers entombed in there. Mausoleums just keep coming with this place, don't they? Look at the webs on this one. Brave the spiders to have a look. It's in ruin again. Even bigger webs on this one. I think I'll give it a miss, I don't fancy a big tarantula hanging off my arm. Just wonder why they um, block the doors up. I know obviously people don't need to go in, but maybe the families would like to go in, like this one here, this has got some flowers on it. I mean, that, I think that's the whole purpose of mausoleums, isn't it? So it's like a chapel, so you can go in and spend a bit of time with your loved one. Let's have a look in this one. See, there's a little pew there with some uh, some uh, inscriptions on the wall. Flirt and Styroblova. Definitely didn't pronounce them right. Someone there squeezed in between the two big mausoleums. And look at this one. Two entrances. Little balcony at the top there. Balcony at the top uh, at the bottom here. And there's an original door. Oh, it's fantastic, isn't it? Just love the architecture of these places. A moth lover. It's nice and smart. I think these ones that aren't open, like the last one there with the gates on. I think they must suffer from a lot of damp, so that's when they um, that's when they tend to deteriorate. So I'm just walking uh, on the path opposite those mausoleums we've just walked past. You can see them just through there. I saw a big kind of uh, circled area up the top there. I think it's. Um, I think it's the centre of the cemetery. These people here are just tidying up uh, their family members mausoleum so I don't want to film them too much. That one very smart. Just the boy this woman. Little cherub there. So I'm just trying not to film these guys now. Just out of respect. Check this one out here, look at that. That's got to be my favourite so far. Two stories as well. Incredible. 
And look at the fake uh, block work on this one, it's just bricks covered in cement made to look like uh, stone blocks. Lovely bus there of uh, Augustin Berger and his wife, what's that say? Paltrinini? Paltrineri? I love the uh, green colour on this one. This one's a bit different. Nice uh, mosaic of Jesus at the back there, at the top. Shame about the door, but the frame's nice with the uh, pillars either side of it. Very much doubt there's going to be anything in here. There's like a mirror on the floor. You can just see the old door there. And not much else. Some nice stained glass detail left on this one. See um, six urns at the back there on the altar. There's quite a few people in this one. I think there must be painting the outside of this one or cleaning it. Oh no, look, it's a full renovation. Should we pop in and have a look? Oh shit. Looks like they just popped out to lunch, doesn't it? Interesting. It's got a big hole in it. You can see a couple of grave slabs in there. Next to a couple of bottles of rubbish. Lovely. What a lovely way to spend eternity next to a, a couple of old plastic bottles. I'm probably just going to check this last one out and then call it a day. Been here about about two hours now. I'm absolutely knackered, and it's about 37 degrees, so that's not helping either. Picture of Jesus there at the back. So we're back where we started now. I think I'll wrap this one up. Um, thanks for watching again uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one Dobri den, ahoy ciao